Flight boss, bitch. You're now listening to the mind of Natarius Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and we're here to carry our God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now we're gonna uh, we're finishing the series. Um, this is Taurus, so this is what makes Taurus manifestors. You know what I'm saying? So this will. So now you have three different manifestors when it comes to Taurus. Now this is gonna depend on the way this Taurus thing and communicate. And when it comes to thinking and communicate, that deals with Mercury. So now. The three manifesting... To, now, let's talk about Taurus first. Taurus is fixed Earth. So, fix is being fixated on its own. And in this case, thinking and practicality. You know what I'm saying? Earth is the thinking and the practicality. Air is the thinking and the communication. Water is the feeling and the emotions. And fire is the feelings and the seer. You know what I'm saying? So, you have the right brain, the left brain, and then you have the yin and the yang. When it comes to sex tiles and oppositions and things like that. So water and fire are going to be the yin. The yang going to, uh, I mean, fire, yeah, no. Fire and water going to be the right brain. And air and earth going to be the left brain. And then then comes the sex tiles and oppositions and trines and the yin and yang and all that. But that's another video. So right now you have earth. You have fixed earth. That's being stable and fixated on its own, in this case, thinking and practicality, which deals with the senses, reality, and common sense. So this is what makes Taurus the masters of the five senses, because they're fixated on the five senses. So right here, they're able to they're ruled by Earth and Venus. So right here you have the three manifesting types, which is um you have the 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 practical manifestors, which will be the Mercury and Taurus. Tauruses. You have the spiritual manifestors, which will be the Aries and Mercury Tauruses. And then you have the communication manifestors, which, which will be the Mercury and Gemini Tauruses. So let's break them down. So let's break down the Mercury and Taurus Tauruses. Now, these people are the practical manifestors. So these people, they know how to manifest on a practical level. Because like I said, what is Taurus? What is fixed earth? So fixed is being fixated on its own thinking and practicality. So this is the way they think and communicate too. They like to think about reality. They like to think about what they can touch, what they can see, what they can smell, what they can hear. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and a lot of times this, this makes them think about and communicate about different fabrics. They like different type of stuff. These people are, uh, they know how to manifest just off the will of knowing that things take time. Knowing that things take time to grow. Things need taken care of. Things is not going to happen overnight. These people don't, don't mind patience. These people think with patience. They communicate with patience. They, uh, they may set aside a lot of emotions. Not to say that they're not emotional, but that's dependent on the moon. But at the same time, they don't depend a lot of their actions on emotions. They have to think about it and have to see does it make sense first. See, here's the difference with the, with the uh, right and the left brains. You know what I'm saying? So they have to make sure that, they're, that it makes sense what they're actually feeling. And they have to make sure that they're not expressing a wrong thought or, or communicating the wrong thing just based upon their feeling. You know what I'm saying? They have to think and, and make sure it's practical. You know what I'm saying? So they know how to manifest in a practical way. They know they know what it's going to take to get from point A to point B, and they don't think otherwise. So this would make what may make a, a Taurus stubborn at times, but at the but at the same time they still understand that every patience is a virtual and everything takes time to build in order to have a sturdy foundation to fall back on so this they know how to manifest and it may take some time but when they get it they they know how to never let it go now when you have the uh the the mercury and aries tauruses now these are your spiritual manifestors so these are people who may throw spiritual annotations on to the material things that they have or the people in their life because remind you aries is cardinal fire it is initiate it's a cardinal so it initiate and creates and fire is the the uh the seer and the feelings so it initiate new ways of how to feel and how to see things so anytime you have visions you want to express it so this will make aries expressive so right here this is how you think and how you communicate so when you think and communicate about things you see and visions and inspirations and ideas and things like that <clears throat> when your sun sign kicks in <clears throat> it, it's, it acts on it 
and it takes time on it. And a lot of times you may feel frustrated with yourself because you feel like you're not getting all your ideas out at one time. You know what I'm saying? But that's the little balance that's going to have to help out with it. I mean, to help or hurt, but it helps in the long run. And that's just the balance you may have frustrations with at time. But for the most part, this is uh, you you inspire others through your through your communication and through the way you um, think. You know what I'm saying? Because you think forward and you have direction into a, a outlook and you create direction where there is none. So you may go through things like the RAM a lot of times by the way you think and how you communicate about things. But at the same time, you take your slow and steady pace like the bull until you get agitated to ram somebody. So you know what I'm saying? So when all these thoughts in your head is going, or um, and these inspirations and all these expressions that you want to communicate, you communicate in a slow, steady pace when it comes to your actions and the way you act. So you 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 walk and act as an inspirational person because of the way you speak. Like you 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 may put more into something that actually what it is. You you want to put meaning behind the things that you have or the people in your life and tie it to something uh, spiritual or something passionate, something that you're passionate about. Like. Like the difference between a, a Mercury and Tor a, a Mercury and Taurus and a and a Mercury and Aries Taurus would be that the the Mercury and Taurus may may think like they may get something because everyone like it so you know what I'm saying but they have to feel it first touch it and if they sense that this is everyone wants this possession or something like that then they may think and communicate it about it to get it like just based upon that but. The Mercury and Aries Taurus may get something if it really means something to them, like if they passionately want to get it, or if it, or if it's something tied to something spiritually about it, or someone that they knew in the past may have wanted it and died, and now they wanted it now. You know, no shit like that. Like it's little, little slightly differences, but it's really you're still a Taurus Sun. It's just the three different manifestors. So this is how you're gonna manifest when you have the um, Mercury and to, uh, Mercury and Aries when you're a Taurus. You know what I'm saying? You're going you're gonna to think and communicate in ways of aspiration, inspiration to get the things you want, to get your pleasures. You know what I'm saying? Now, and a lot of times you may express it. You may express your talents. You may think you need to express your talent that you have by being a, to a Taurus, by using your vocal box in some type of way, or using your, um, your, because all Tauruses are good at motors, whether they know it or not. So all Tauruses could be good dancers. They just have to have another placement to, to break that out of them to break that shell out of them because so because they already natural uh, mutual type signs all earth signs but especially the Taurus signs you know what I'm saying so it's important for them so if they have mercury and Aries this would get them out of their shell a little bit because they will feel like they need to express what they see what they feel you know what I'm saying so when they think that a lot of times it appear out through the uh as a youngin becomes older and older through life, it'll start to ex be expressive more and more. They become dancers or singers or things of that nature, especially singers or using a vocal box or things of that nature. But just a regular Taurus in any way, shape, or form could dance. They just have to have a, something to break them out of that. You have a lot of Tauruses that may be reserved and may not feel like the need to come out of their shell in that way until they know how to practically do with what they're actually trying to do so they won't look stupid you know what I'm saying now when you, you have the um you have the communication manifestors now this is the the Taurus uh when you have your Mercury and Gemini you know so this is Mercury and Gemini as a Taurus so this is the communication manifestors these people know how to communicate I mean these people know how to manifest by communicating with others communicating how and learning how to get from point A to point B when they see somebody uh, have some type of uh, some type of status some type of stability amongst themselves these are the people they want to hang around these are the people they want to be around they feel like if they be around this this could practically get them in the same vibration that these people are in so they like to communicate they like that these are the talkative Tauruses these are the Tauruses who like to um, who like to analyze and overly think overly think and, and, and get their hands dirty, get their hands into everything, you know what I'm saying? And and see what they can milk out of this out of these thoughts because they're gonna have a they're gonna have a lot of thoughts because Mercury loves to be in Gemini. Mercury is thinking of communication. Gemini is mutable air. Mutable air mutable is being uh changeable and being adapt adaptable and in this case to other people's thinking and communication. So you're looking at other people ways, other people nerve system, other people ways of doing things. And then you're coming to a practical sense of it. Like maybe this is something I need to do or maybe this is something I don't need to do. Then it hits your sun sign. So it's going to hit your five senses again. You know, oh, is this something I should waste energy on or not? You know what I'm saying? 
and um, that's to communicate. So you you're only gonna talk to who you who you think is practical enough to talk to. You're not gonna involve yourself into people, places, and things that you don't feel is practical or feel is fluid enough. You know what I'm saying? That's how you're gonna feel when you when you're communicating and trying to manifest into this world. Cause you're gonna be naturally manifesting as a Taurus. Cause Taurus is ruled by Earth and Venus. You know what I'm saying? We and you guys live on Earth, so. That goes to show you what's going on right now with all Tauruses. And you have Pallades and all over the place. And you know what I'm saying? They can, they can create heaven on earth. So right here, the, the Mercury and the Mercury and Geminis may communicate that and may not may know how to talk and meet the right people to get them in the right the right position to bring heaven on earth. You know what I'm saying? Then you have the Mercury and Taurus Tauruses who may be um, they the practical manifestors. They may know how to get the job done or stay on something long enough for themselves or or just think and communicate about only practical things that make sense in order to get into it. Like these are people who may stay in school just because it makes sense and they might not add their own emotions and feelings or of should they be in school or not. They may just do it because it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So these are people who those these are the people who may just graduate just because it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Then you have um, in the realm of reality and on earth that we in right now. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're able to manifest they, they fruition by showing the universe that they can stick to a task. You know what I'm saying? Then you have the um then you have the spiritual manifestors, which is the Mercury and Aries Tauruses. And uh they manifest in ways of uh speaking speaking of ideas, being spiritual, being expressive in the, uh in their nature, being creative, being imaginative, you know what I'm saying, being intuitive, you know what I'm saying? Not just not just looking at the not just thinking about what can happen from A to B, but having ideas about other things, you know what I'm saying, other things you could put in there, and other things that can happen, and other possibilities, and, and having a little bit more, more loosened up of your practicality a little bit, and get it a little bit more spacey, a little bit more uh, spiritual, a little bit more faith-like to obtain it, and attract what you want to desire on this earth as being a tourist. So that's what makes tourist manifestors. Flight bus, bitch, goddamn air.